What's up there car fans and card collectors, sports card attractions and collectibles back with the new video and it is mail day. It's actually a huge mail day. As you can see, I got 22 graded cards there that we'll go over and then I got a stack of non-graded cards which I'll start off with first. So I do appreciate y'all watching the channel. If anybody new to the channel y'all like sports, I'm always ripping, I'm always showing off what I'm picking up. Uh, do hit that subscribe button and check out the channel. All right, so to start off, uh, let's start off with this uh, 1993 Post Collector Series. I actually bought all 30 cards set. This is a uh, card one of 30. I have some. Of, I have quite a few of these cards. Um, I actually got the Frank Thomas in a, a PSA 10 that's autographed too as well. So it's a set that I've always liked since I was a kid. So I went ahead and picked up the whole set. Dave Fleming, Will Clark. Kirby Puckett, Roger Clemens, Fred McGriff, Eric Karros, Ken Griffey Jr., Tony Gwynn, Cal Ripken Jr., Cecil Fielder, Gary Sheffield, Don Maddenley, Ryan Sandberg, Frank Thomas, Bobby Bonilla, Paul Molitor, Terry P Pendleton, Darren Dalton, Mark McGuire, Nolan Ryan, Tom Glavin, Roberto Alamore, Juan Gonzalez, Bob Bonilla again, huh? Oh, wow. I just realized that. Two of the same exact card. So they shorted me a card. I want to find out which one it is. George Brett, Ozzy Smith, Andy Van Zelight, Barry Larkin, John Kurt, and Robin Yount. So... I did not see that the first time I went through there. So I have to find out which card's missing. So I, yeah, I picked that up. And then I uh, got this 2016 draft picks, Panini Contenders, CN Plate, one of one, Doug Martin. I collect one of one, so I had to pick that up. Got another one here. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, Ryan Matthews, Yellow Plate, one of one, Prime Sensors. So, but add that to my collection. Here's another card uh, from 2011. Yeah, 2011, but it came in at 2017 archives, and Danny Valencia. Auto, and it's numbered 66 out of 70. A nice card there. Uh, got this. This was actually a gift given to me. Um, really nice. Uh, 67, maybe. Hank Aaron, Richie Allen, Willie Mays. 1966 home run leaders. It's not in a pristine condition card, but I collect Willie May, so it's off centered on the back. Corners are rough. However, it's a nice card featuring Hank Aaron and Willie May, so it's nice to have that to add to my collection there. Another really nice, uh, it was a 2000 Fleer, yeah, Fleer 2000, 3000 Club, Nolan Ryan. Super nice die cut card. I needed this for my Ryan collection, so I picked it up. Another nice one. And then this is also a really nice one, too. This is number 20 out of 35 right there on the top. It's hard to see because it's like a bronze colored. But uh, this is Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, Gay Gaylord Perry, and uh, Phil Nicro. Uh, it's all game used jersey so this came out of the uh 2023 leaf trading cards so yeah it's really nice i do like this the art of sport it's a real nice card and like i said it said it's all game used patches so really excited to have this card actually Main reason it's got Nolan Ryan on it, but I mean, it's got these other guys that are also all awesome as well, so. 
Can't complain about that one. Uh, here's a Luis Rodriguez. Number 81 out of 99. Right there on top. Prospect. I click. Auto. Nice card there. Got a couple Pokemon here. So this is uh, a 2022 Charizard. Nice card. Picked it up. It's Pokemon Go for my son. He's the Pokemon collector, so. And he likes his Charizards and his Mewtwo. So here's another Charizard. This one came out of, I can't even see the date on it. So it's signing. Like 2019. So a really nice card there. He's got a huge Charizard collection just growing. There's another uh, basic Charizard EX. Um, and this is out of 2016. It's actually a really cool card. Picked that from him. Yeah. Um, here we go. Uh, this is a 2020 Charizard V. This is also a really nice one as well. Can't never go wrong with Charizard card. They're all in great condition. I was sending them off. And then a card that I've been trying to get literally for four years i know you guys watch me rip numerous amounts of opening day 2020 on the channel uh, and never pull this card i think i picked this up maybe from comp c uh, but it's the short print Luis robert opening day i was kind of disappointed it said it was in excellent condition i mean it looks like it's in great condition except for i don't know if you can tell you see a little bit of whiting just a tad bit on that corner. Um, and this one don't look so uh, strong itself. So, but However, I did pick it up. I got it. So I got to add that to my Luis Robert collection. Then I got this Luis Rodriguez. Uh, Pertustic Vibrations. 22 out of 125. Nice card. The Rated Prospect, Hollow, On Card Auto. It's not numbered. Luis Rodriguez. So, and here's another one. Uh, Metal Draft, Luis Rodriguez. This is out of uh, 2020. Numbered 7 out of 7. Right there on the top. Really nice pink cracked ice. I actually got two of four. It's a green one coming in the mail. Uh, here's another flash of brilliance. Leaf flash. The sticker auto. Numbered seven out of 25. Luis Rodriguez. So I really like the green cards. Green's my favorite color, so it really pops. And then um, I showed you guys the one out of five I got last time. And this one I picked up. It's the red out of 15. Two of 15. Leaf rookie card. Astrotate. Astrotate card. So it's, it's really nice. To get that and add to the collection. Alright, so those are the raw ones that I picked up. Now let's get into the graded ones. It's a variety of cards here. Got this 2019 Panini Donruss Optic RJ Barrett rated rookie in a Gym Mint 10. So it's nice to get this card. I couldn't buy any of 2019. Is it 2018 and 2019 basketball? Because it was like sold everywhere. I never could find it. And so now to be able to get these and the prices come down to a reasonable price. I'm pretty excited about it. 2019 Hoops Premium Stock RJ Barrett Short Print Gem Mint 10. 
So another nice, really nice card there. It was a 2018 Victor Robles batting card. PSA 10. Washington Nationals. I just wanted to get a couple cards or some other decent players uh, in a PSA 10 so I can have my collection. Kyle Lewis, very inexpensive card. Um, I have this card raw. For the price I paid for in a 10, I just couldn't pass it up. Actually, with the Victor Robles this and, I don't know, three or four other cards I bought in a lot. So, got a really good deal on it. 2016 Mike Clevenger, Heritage, in a 10. Once again... card I just wanted to grab uh, we got 2016 tops Allen and Ginter Michael Conforto and 10 so. nice cards we got some uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. this is a 2019 tops complete set white jersey and a PSA 10 nice card Uh, I have this card raw. I actually pulled it on a channel out of a, a box that I bought from like Walgreens. And it had, just happened to have one of these packs in there and opened it up and pulled it. It was really, actually really cool. But uh, I went ahead and picked this up in a 10. It's the base. Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019 tops. Nice card. Especially to have it in a 10. Um, same exact card, except for just the Topps Holiday, one of my favorite releases. 2019 Topps Holiday, Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie. It's again, nice card. I did not have this one, so to be able to get this one in a 10 is also really nice. Um, we got the 2019 Topps Chrome, Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie card, the PSA 10. Once again, I didn't have this one. Uh... But it is a nice card. And it's 10. So, really nice. And uh, here's a 2019 Topps update. Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie. That's the rookie debut. Really nice. I don't. I didn't have this one either. So I picked it up and it's a... Uh, of course it's a 10. Every now and then I'll buy something other than a 10, but for the most part I buy 10. I think there's one in this whole stack that's a 9. Um, 2019 Topped Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. Update. Also rookie debut. This is the Topped Chrome version. So we got the base and then the chrome, so it's base chrome. It's nice to have them both. Once again, it's in a 10. Alright, we got a uh, Frank Thomas, 1997, Fleer, Jim Mint 10, Encore card, guy PC here, I'm White Sox fan, so a huge collection of Frank Thomas cards, I buy them up, I don't buy the ones in his Athletic or his Blue Jays uh, outfits, mainly just the ones in the White Sox, uh, 1996 Collector's Choice, Frank Thomas, Jim Mint 10. It's a nice card. Oh my god. Uh, 1993 score. Dream Team. Frank Thomas. PSA 10. Another nice card. That's so crazy how young he was back then. Another good one here. We got his 1990 Flare Update. Rookie year. Jim Mint 10. White Sox. Like I said, I got 
probably four or five of these raw. So to have this in a tin is awesome as well. Another White Sox player from 2020 Tops, Luis Robert, Throwback Thursday, Super Rookie. I got this raw, um, but I seen it online, and for the price that I picked it up for, it being in a tin, I just it's one of those cards you can't say no to. So I went ahead and picked it up as well. Same with this one, uh, and I might even have this one graded. I'm not for sure. I'd have to look. The 2020 Tops Gallery, Luis Robert, in a PSA 10. The price was so fair on it, I couldn't pass it up. Nice card. Here's one that I did not have. Uh, this is a, actually a Beckett, and it's a pristine 10. So it's a 2020 Tops XP Alonzo. Luis Roberts, Chicago White Sox. Got 10 on everything but centering was a 9.5. You can see that there. So it's a pristine 10. So I picked that up for fairly inexpensive as well. It's a nice card. All right, we got three more to go over. Uh, I'll save that one to the last. That's the nine. This here is a 10, 2021 Bowman's Best, Luis Rodriguez. That's uh, a gold lava refractor. Really nice card. On card auto. Numbered seven out of 75. Right up there. So. I had the opportunity to pick that up, and I did. And here's another one. That's a 2021 Bowman Chrome. Luis Rodriguez, first Bowman Prospects. Gold Refractor, number 12 out of 50. Right there. It's funny because somebody else has this listed on eBay for several hundred dollars. I think like 600 something dollars, and it says it's a pop one. And uh, obviously it's not because this is a Jim Mint 10 as well, so... I laugh when I see that kind of stuff. Really nice card. This is definitely one that I wanted in a 10. I'm pretty sure I have this card raw. I know I have the shimmer for sure. But I've seen this one and it was kind of one of those deals you can't pass up. Especially when it's a player you, you collect. And last but not least, um, this is the Mint 9 Auto 10, 2021 Donruss Optic Luis Rodriguez. Literally, on card auto, it's numbered uh, 3 out of 15. It's why I picked it up and it not being a 10 is because I paid $18 for it. I was watching it for a while, quite some time, and the seller offered it to me for $18 and... Uh, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, being only 15 copies of this one, and, um, yeah, and graded, yeah, it's mint 9, auto's 10. Um, I can't really complain about it, so. And I've actually looked it over. It's a very clean card. I'm not going to crack it out and resend it in or do anything ridiculous like that, but I do like it, and I'm glad to have it in my collection, so. That will go in my case with all the rest of them. But that's it, guys. It does complete this huge mail day. I do appreciate y'all watching. If there's any certain card that you like, let me know what you guys thought was the best one. There's so many that I liked. I'm, now that I'm looking at these postcards, I'm kind of disappointed in the uh, Devil Bobby Bonilla here. And I got to find out what card's actually missing from this set. Didn't realize until just now. Um, and I really like this pristine 10. This is my only second uh, pristine 10 that I got. I got a Dylan Carlson on card auto. It's also in a Beckett pristine 10. 
I actually own two copies. I own it in a 9, 5, and a 10. But I don't buy too many Becca cards. But if the price is right and I can get it in a 9, 5, or 10, I'll definitely pick it up if I need it. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Stay tuned, and I'll be back ripping. Thanks, and have a great day.